because you probably want to make sure you have at least written down so you guys can go through and make sure you know. So in this example, they're asking us to determine the quadrants. All right. So we need to go back and remember which quadrants, where they're at on the Cartesian coordinate. So that's quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, and quadrant four. Okay. So now we just need to determine where is negative 132 degrees. So the next thing is we need to determine what's the difference between positive and negative angles. Well, positive angles, remember all angles, when we, when we try to, we need to kind of have a standardized form of how we're going to write our angles. So all angles, if you guys remember, are going to start at what we call our initial side, which is right here. So that's your initial side. Then we're going to rotate another ray from that initial side, from the vertex, to find our other end. If we rotate in the counterclockwise direction, the angle has a positive direction. And if we rotate in the clockwise direction, the angle has a negative direction. The value is still always going to be positive, but the direction will either be positive or negative. So we have a negative 132 degrees. So that means we're obviously going to be going in the negative direction. All right. Um, so we're going in the negative direction. And remember, this would be negative 90 degrees in the negative direction. And this would be negative 180 degrees in the negative direction. So if I was going to graph this, I know that it's obviously going to be somewhere right around in here, right? Now, what do we do about this 50, 50 minutes? Remember, we can rewrite this as 132 plus 50 minutes over or 50 over 60 minutes. Well, remember guys, if you have 60 over 60 minutes, that's just one more degree. So if I add, if I even made this to 133, is it really going to get me out of the third quadrant? No. So the final answer is still going to be the minutes is not really going to adjust it, but we'll have the third quadrant. OK? It's 132.50 over 60. Fifty. Yes. Yeah, I mean, because that, that's fifty minutes. Remember, there's sixty minutes in one degree. So it, we're we're talking about adding less than a degree to one thirty-two. So that's not going to move it out of the third quadrant, right? So what are those two? Like if I say it's ninety degrees, and that's negative one eighty. What do you mean this? Well, this is just saying if you have a positive angle, I would do 132 in that direction. But since it's negative, I'm going in the negative direction. That's just telling me which direction to go. Yeah, I know, but you're, you labeled it negative 90 degrees, negative 180. Right. What would be well, here? Really oh, yeah. this would be negative 270. If you went all the way around to here, and if you went all the way around the circle, it'd be negative 360. Okay. And is it different if you went positive? Yeah, if you went positive, then it'd go like this. That's 90, 180, 270, 360. Any other questions? Yes. Now, if you guys don't want to write the minutes, if you don't understand the minutes, just put in decimal form. Do 50 divided by 60, which is 0.83 repeating. So really, what you're trying to calculate is negative 132 plus 0.83. So it's negative 132.83 um, when you round it. Okay? Which negative 132 or negative 132.83 is still going to be in the third quadrant. Yes? It's what? No, no, no. You're not adding. It's still, remember, the value of the angle is always going to be positive. OK? So forget about the negative symbol. All the negative tells you to do is which direction do you go. Do you go up? Do you go counterclockwise or clockwise? Or clockwise? So the value is always going to be positive. So you're just taking the absolute value of 132 plus 50 minutes, but you go in the negative direction. OK? Any other preguntas? OK. So let's take off, um, take off everything off your desk, and we'll do what we call a 